There's a lot of scones, eh? Fresh cake. Okay. It's Saturday today in Kyoto, and I'm pretty sure we stumbled across a food festival. This whole downstairs, down floor, has some of the best sweets and just overall foods and stuff I've seen. I've seen like sandwiches like this go popping on TikTok and that. But the last shop that we just passed, honestly, insane. Like this is the selection. We have to try something. Antonio wants to try some of these. We've seen some croissants with some cream and custard. Cream, chocolate custard. I think that's like a, something else. But like the whole the whole floor is just like lively. It's pumping. Heaps of people. We've come early, which could be an actual blessing, eh? Like so. Honestly, like what what is going on? Like this is so aesthetic, so beautiful. Whoa, little strawberry tarts, chiffon cakes. It's like the whole works. I wanted to try some matcha today, but I reckon we'll give some of these a go. I wonder if they have like a little seating area as well. I'll be keen to sit down and pick, 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 pick away. So we've gone downstairs. This is still part of the food festival. A whole lot of like random stuff. They have chicken lasagna. I want to try everything. They have like a little deep fried section, heaps of cutlets. Everything looks real good. The sushi section. Wow. And there's like a whole supermarket like right here, which is absolutely ballistically insane. Wow. So they have little signs as well as in English to tell you what it is. So this is like tempura station here. Whip, tempura. And we have a whole lot of tempura goods. Oh, a big line already for that place. Looks like a little intimate seating area. Intimate dining experience. Ooh. 100 grams, 13 bucks, situation going on there. The marbling is insane. Wow. Chuck, bro, look at the size of these. They massive, absolutely huge. Just finished up some dinner, had some soba. <coughs> absolutely in love with soba noodles, eh? I've been having them cold and having them dipped, but the whole one's different. I think 100% the cold is how you maximize the soba. How meaty the actual noodles are. And now I'm just walking back to the hotel. I think I took a wrong turn. Yeah, I took a wrong turn. Let me go back this way. <sighs> but yeah, first couple of days in Kyoto, fully sick. I was just being fully sick, and that's not great. <laughs> but rested up, done absolutely not much for the last couple of days. But here's part of the views. That's Kyoto Station right there. Underneath is that shopping mall that went to today. They had their food festival. It was like everything was going to open at 11. We were rolling around at the start of the subway or underneath, 10.30. Find out there's a food festival. 15 minutes later, 11 hits, boom, completely stacked. I don't think I've ever seen people sardined like that. Okay, that's an exaggeration. I've seen like horror stories even in Australia where people go to like Sydney fireworks for news and stuff like that. But in a mall setting, bro, that was, uh, that was challenging, but every, all the food looked beautiful. Found a little matcha spot. And so parked ourselves up there for about 10 minutes, got some matcha ice cream and uh, got a little breather before we started again. But very much so, it is a Saturday today. 
So it's, you know, crowds are to be expected. Here's my hotel. We're staying on the very top floor. There's the vibes going on. I need to get my key card out. Little anime girl. But yeah, since it's a Saturday, it's been absolutely pumping, eh? Can we fit? Yes. You can smell the strawberries through it. I've seen this one all over TikTok, and this one looks light, fluffy, and delicious. Plus the smell of strawberries is intense. So, I really can't wait to give this a go. I can't even smell much, but... Mmm. And it tastes exactly how it looks. With the taste of strawberries just being the main, the main, the main thing. A light fluffy strawberry cloud. That's how I'd describe this. You got the pastry base, a little bit uh, less stable, a jam layer, some kind of like custard filling. But I reckon there's gonna be fire. Here's how we're looking like. We got a bit of everything. That base is a lot more texture than I initially thought. It's like hard, hard and, and crunchy. Taste wise, it kind of tastes like some nuts, like almond or walnut. I think almond. The strawberries are just intense. Mmm. I'm absolutely in love with this layer. This one right here. Antonia's just waiting off camera. She doesn't want to be on camera. She's not feeling that great. <laughs> But she's here, guys. I'm not just eating this by myself. <laughs> Go say something. I don't feel too good. I don't look too good either. You don't need to see me. <laughs> She'll be coming back soon. Mmm. That's super delicious. And that's the thing. Not only do they look good, they taste bloody good too. What do you prefer, this one or the last one? This one has a lot more going on. Mm. It gives it depth. Mm -hmm. it gives it depth. Mm. There's a nice like a little aroma feel going on as well. Mm. That one's plain and nice. And this one's solid. Mm. I reckon we should go for one more. Look at that. Oh my god. I don't even know what this was, but it looks like some fruit layer, strawberry layer, some sponge. Probably mixed with like some fruit juice. Another sponge, cream, yada yada. So, since we're not feeling the best, no cross contamination, guys. We've got to, only one of us has to be sick at the same time. So, I've got a little wooden stick and I've just split it down the middle. This grape has gold flakes on it, which is absolutely insane like a little bakery item yeah I think I'm just gonna go for it the layers are insane it feels super moist I'm just gonna go for it wow melts in your mouth that deep red layer is like plum, eh? No, that's my favorite. It's a cream. Mm -hmm. It's not even a sponge, it's a cream. But it's texture that it, ha it held up its own weight. The top is like a fruit jelly. And then you got sponge, cream, strawberry jam. Oh, that's plum, plum jam. Is everything just plum? No, that's plum. That's plum. Wow. This one is a dream to eat. This one's texture madness.
it's seriously like a cloud and everything evaporates. Like you don't even have to chew, you just push your tongue to the roof of the mouth and everything disperses, which, oh my gosh. Yum. This one's the best one so far. So this one's from the same company. This looks like some little matcha situation going on. Same beautiful layering. I don't know. That is a cream. Layers on layers on layers of flavour. I'll tell you what. This looks exactly like food and desserts from Food Wars. It's crazy how aesthetic and just pretty they get it. Little Japanese little sweet taste test. Food festival keiki. Mmm. Wow. First was sweet, then was like just pure matcha. And it's still there, such a prominent flavour. And then you get a little bit of the bitterness at the end. Wow, 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 that's so delicious. Not as good texturally as the last one. Similar principles and a whole lot of matcha. Mmm. Mmm. Not too much sweet as well. Like they absolutely beef up the matcha. Which I actually love. Sweet overrated flavour profile. You know, after drinking so much yerba mate, I love bitter. And with uh, matcha, matcha does, yeah, is a little bit bitter. But it's like, how they do it with the sweets is insane. You know, because they have a little bit of sweet, just enough that it elevates the matcha. And you're not know, like, putting like all these sugars in and it's like throwing the matcha off. No, it like elevates it. And desserts like this, sponges. And they've definitely just soaked the sponge cakes in matcha, absorbing all the flavor. With some chocolate as well, bro. Can't go wrong, that was so delicious. A little bit different than the other three that we tried, but still nonetheless, so, so, so good. We got the super premium strawberry cake with some cream in between. You can see it's like the sponge being soaked in some strawberry, strawberry fruit juice. But bro, this is an absolute behemoth. Oh, look at that white strawberry. What the hell? Tastes like a light strawberry, a little more acidic. It's trippy. But this one's like strawberry implosion. I got a little gold plate. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I think this one has the best flavour so far. It's like the strawberry cream as well. That sponge is so flavourful. The sponge and the strawberry cream carry. To like the next extent. Mm, yum. I think that's my favourite one so far. Last but not least we got three of these puffs. I think they all have a different type of filling in each of them. Mmm. That was pretty good. I think the actual pastry, not really like what I'll go for, typically. But it's valid, it's good. Mmm. This is real good. This is real nice. I think for like a custard dessert, we had an asakusa. It's a little pastry fish filled with a custard. I think it's called a taiyaki. And those things are OP. I think I prefer that to this. We have a chocolate bomba. 
Wow, that is a rich chocolate mousse. Full of flavor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This chocolate one, hands down the winner. They're like cream puffs. I don't know what the, what the actual name is, but interesting. That was super fun, you know, just like rocking up. And they always have something going on in Japan. As one thing I noticed, today was the food festival. I'm just glad I was there to enjoy the vibe, try it out, try different things. It's always cool seeing other people do stuff. I think that's super cool. I think it's so cool seeing other people in their element, interacting with them. You know, even though I can't speak Japanese well, they can't really speak English well, we got Google Translate. Have a good time, have a laugh, and that's it. If you enjoy the content, make sure to give me a like, sub up, share to a friend. Share the video around, I'm in Japan, and I'm only going to keep dropping bangers. Kyoto, we have a couple more days here, and a couple more things to see and do. And until then, I'll catch you again.